Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have already received our first two moment updates for Windows 11 version 22H2. And as many of you would know by now running Windows 11, we received moment one in October of last year. And moment two rolled out at the end of February this year. And as I have posted previously, we are expecting to get moment three, the third wave of new features rolling out for Windows 11 22H2 as early as starting as next month, May. So possibly May and or June, although, although Microsoft hasn't confirmed that. But as I have mentioned previously, there are numerous reports that are suggesting May and or June for Moment 3. Now, and when it comes to Moment 3, uh, it seems that once again, Microsoft has confirmed the um, rollout of Moment 3. So if you had any doubt that it wasn't going to be made available shortly, then just to let you know that be it officially or by accident, Microsoft has once again confirmed Moment 3. And if we just head over to Microsoft Docs uh, with a recent article, which um, they posted on the 5th of April this year, which was about three days or so ago in my region. If we roll down to this section, Microsoft has confirmed Moment 3, where they say, to load a Wi-Fi CX-based driver on Windows 11 22H2, Moment 3 and later. So there we go. That is on the official Microsoft Docs page regarding this article, Moment 3 and later. So that is a confirmation once again that Microsoft will be rolling out Moment 3, the third wave of new features, although Microsoft hasn't confirmed exactly when that will roll out. But as mentioned, we are expecting to get that um, as early as next month, starting May, moving over into June um, of this year, 2023. Now, um, when it comes to new features we are expecting to get with the Moment 3 update, um, just to go through a couple of the features um, expected to roll out, and this is by no means a comprehensive list um, and in no particular order. Now, first of all, we are expecting to get seconds uh, in the taskbar clock, which is currently not available in Windows 11, which, believe it or not, as I have posted previously, is a highly requested feature. So seconds in the taskbar clock, um, there's a very strong possibility that's arriving um, with Moment 3, as it should have arrived with Moment 2 and didn't. So we can expect that to roll out. And then um, access keys, which is a feature in the File Explorer. Now, um, this is a feature when you right-click on a file. Currently, you get your different options like cut, copy, open, open with. Now, what's going to happen there uh, is that you should start getting access keys where um, it actually displays keyboard shortcuts next to um, options like copy, cut, paste, open, open with, and so on, which just makes it a lot quicker and easier to open those features if you are using your keyboard. So that might be a handy feature if you do use um, your keyboard um, more with keyboard shortcuts than actually using your mouse. And then if we head to the task manager, there's going to be improvements to live kernel dumps. And I have actually posted on all of these previously, so you can just do a search on the channel. Now, currently, um, live kernel dumps are available in Windows 11 22H2, but there are a whole lot of different um, improvements rolling out, especially if you right-click um, and you get the context menu options when it comes to those kernel dump um, improvements. And then if we head to the start menu, um, the start menu recommended section is going to be getting a name change to for you. So this is changing from recommended to for you. And uh, um, there's also one or two accessibility um, features rolling out. Live captions uh, is going to be getting improvements and also voice access will get support for more languages and will also get performance improvements. And uh, um, this, as mentioned, is no, by no means a comprehensive list. And um, there could be other features rolling out, which obviously Microsoft hasn't confirmed as yet. And you can look to the Insider program currently for those features. And um, more, I would say, the beta channel, give or take. Um, and I have posted videos um, over the last couple of weeks on recent beta channel builds. So you can just do a search on the channel for those. So if you want to more or less see what will be rolling out with Moment 3, head uh, to the beta channel. And um, as mentioned, though, Microsoft has confirmed that Moment 3 uh, is imminent and will be a feature update rolling out possibly um, in May and or June later this year. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.